In this screencast, I'll be giving a demonstration of the features of the Aperture to FileMaker plugin for Apple's Aperture Photography software. Aperture to FileMaker is a standard plugin which gives the user the ability to export images and their associated metadata to a FileMaker database. To set up your FileMaker database to work with the plugin, you must enable JDBC sharing on your database. To do this, first open or create the database that you'd like to export images to in FileMaker. In this case, we'll create a new database. We'll choose to create a new empty file, and we'll give it the name Aperture Photo Catalog. And we'll save this file in our Documents folder. With our new database open, we'll go to the FileMaker Pro menu and select Sharing, ODBC, JDBC Sharing. We'll click on and then we'll select our database from the currently open files. Then we'll select all users in the access to file options. We'll click OK and save these settings. Now our database is properly set up to be accessed from the plugin from within Aperture. Using Aperture to export your images into FileMaker is a very straightforward process. First, ensure that your database is open in FileMaker and that JDBC sharing is set up properly. Then in Aperture, select the images that you would like to export to your FileMaker database. Go to the File menu and choose Export FileMaker. This will bring up the primary interface of the Aperture to FileMaker plugin. Here you can store settings for the various FileMaker databases that you would like to export to, and you can choose the image quality and naming settings for export. Clicking Add will bring up a new database sheet where you can enter the connection settings for your FileMaker database. We'll enter our FileMaker database name, Aperture Photo Catalog, and we'll use Admin as the account name, and we'll leave the password field blank. We'll click OK and the plugin will test the database connection and add the database as an entry to the database list. Should you need to edit these settings, select the database entry and then double click on it. With the FileMaker database selected in our list, we are ready to choose the output settings for our images. From the version preset pop-up menu, select your desired size and quality settings. Then select your desired export name format. We'll also supply the custom name for this format as photo. Clicking export will bring up a file browser sheet where we can choose the location to export our images. We'll create a new folder in the Documents folder to store our images. Keep in mind, images exported with Aperture to FileMaker are stored as references in the FileMaker database. Also, the plugin will remember the last export location either globally or on a per database level, and this behavior can be controlled in the preferences in the main interface. Click Export, and the plugin will now begin the two step process of preparing the images according to your output settings and then exporting the associated metadata into the FileMaker database. The progress bar is updated as the export progress continues. Keep in mind that hiding the FileMaker application or minimizing the database file in FileMaker will dramatically increase the performance of the plugin at this point. When the plugin finishes, your images and metadata are stored in your FileMaker database. Viewing the exported images and metadata in your FileMaker database involves setting up a layout with the correct database fields. Begin with your FileMaker database open. From the View menu, select Layout Mode, and then from the Layouts menu, select New Layout slash Report. In the Show Records From pop-up menu, select Aperture Photo. Next, enter a descriptive name for your layout. Then select Standard Form as the layout type and click Next. In the Specify Fields section, click Move All to use all of the metadata fields in this layout, then click Next. Last, select a theme for this layout, and then click Finish to create this new layout. Now from the View menu, select Browse Mode to view your images and metadata. You have now successfully exported your images from Aperture to FileMaker and created a simple layout to view them. Hopefully this gives you a good introduction to the possibilities of exporting your images from Aperture into FileMaker.